My name is Mikkel Tran. I am Life Cycle Sustainability Manager in DuPont Nutrition and Health. I work with sustainability on an everyday uh, basis, especially life cycle assessment. I work with life cycle assessment to assess the environmental burdens of our products, but also to measure improvements. And a big part of my job is actually to collaborate with customers around sustainability. The challenge bread producers is facing is that there's a demand for sustainability from retail and consumers. Uh, we have seen a development in UK where some retailers go as far as actually labeling their products with a CO2 or carbon footprint label. The same is now happening in France and in the US we see that the Walmart a few years ago uh, initiated uh, something called the Sustainability Consortium. And what they're working with is actually to fine-tune this method to assess the sustainability impacts of products that are put on the shelves in retail. Sustainability is a broad concept. There's three dimensions of sustainability. The environmental dimension, the social dimension and the economical dimension. Life cycle assessment only looks at the environmental dimension and you can say measure the impacts in the environmental dimension. But right now it's the best tool we have to quantify sustainability. Life cycle assessment is a methodology to analyze or assess the environmental burdens from a product along its life cycle. You can have different perspectives or scopes in your LCA. You can have cradle to gate where you only look at the production of the product. And you can have cradle to grave where you also include the use phase and of course retail of the product. In the life cycle of a bread product, for example, we start with agriculture, then we have milling, baking, distribution, retail and use. In the LCA, you collect data for inputs and outputs at each stage of the life cycle here. That would be inputs of material and energy and emissions to air, water and soil. All these inputs and outputs, you enter them in a software program that generates the results in terms of contribution to different impact categories. We typically talk about the contribution to global warming. We measure that in CO2 equivalents and we can also call that the carbon footprint. But there's a range of other impact categories that we also measure. There are some examples here, ozone depletion potential, toxicity, water use, land use, etc. If you go more in detail, there's actually an ISO standard for LCA because you cannot do LCA in any way you want. It suggests that there's four phases of doing an LCA. In the first phase, you define your goal and scope. For example, it could be what are you looking at, what bread product is it, what kind of environmental impacts are you looking at and what perspective is it cradle to gate or cradle to grave? Phase two is inventory. Here you collect data for inputs and outputs across the life cycle. This is maybe 80% of the work of doing an LCA. In phase three here, you generate the result. You enter the data in your software program and the program generates results in terms of global warming potential, ozone depletion potential and a range of other impact categories that you could be interested in. Finally, there's interpretation, that is phase four, you conclude, hotspots, uncertainties, etc. Bakery producers can get started on LCA by taking very small steps. They can do a conceptual LCA which takes only a few days, a screening LCA that takes weeks, or of course also have the option to make a detailed LCA which takes in some cases months or years. But if you want to know more, you're very welcome to contact me for further information.